Welcome back, True Seeker. March 10th, 2019. The big news story today, a Boeing MAX 8 has crashed in Ethiopia, and it's the second time one of these planes has crashed in a short period of time. I want to show you how these two events are connected and contrived and are not accidents, but intentional. So, the date of the last crash, which was the Lion Air crash, that was late October, as the article states, the date was October 29th, 2018. That plane crashed after taking off in Jakarta. And what's interesting is from the date of that crash to today is 133 days. Today's crash is in Ethiopia, which sums to 133. And the other thing is, the last crash was on the 302nd day of the year. Today's crash is flight 302. And Boeing, which is pretty much the government, by the way, government equals 133. Boeing, a major government contractor, Boeing has put out this statement saying how sad they are. And what's interesting about that is today has 52 date numerology, Boeing equals 52. And for the record, government also has Chimatria 52 as well as 133. So here's a few other things that really stand out. That shows how the two incidents are connected. Again, when you learn this code of letters and numbers, you see how all news media is contrived, including plane crashes. The headline, no survivors of Ethiopian Airlines crash. You get Gematria of 211, that's the 47th prime. Ethiopia has Gematria of 47 as well. So does news. It's a signature number in the news. Just in case you are new here, you need to know the four base ciphers. I'm just going to type in Ethiopia. The first cipher where it sums to 83 is with the alphabetic order. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z is 26. For days, we've been getting... Lots of news stories about the MH370 crash, which happened on March 8th, 3-8 or 8-3. Yesterday, CNN's front page was the MH370 crash pretty much all day. And then the next day, you get a big plane crash story. This is how they do it. So with the alphabetic order, Ethiopia 83. With the alphabetic order and rules numerology, Ethiopia 47. Talking a lot about government. Notice government, 133, 52, 47, like we mentioned. So, alphabetic order. Alphabetic order with rules of numerology. The next cipher is the reverse alphabetic order, making Z1, counting back to A is 26. And then the last cipher is the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, our four base ciphers. You learn these ciphers, you can see through all news media propaganda. So here, here's recent headlines all about MH370, which went down March 8th local. It was still March 7th, 37 in the U.S. when this news broke at the time. So it's a Boeing 737. They say 157 people were on board. 157 is the 37th prime number. You got a 37 in the, uh, the number of the plane model. Coming on the back of the MH370 news, again, 157 people, the 37th prime. They say the plane lost contact at 8.44 a.m. If you're familiar with my work, you know words such as military and kill, some to 44, deadly number. The plane crashed in Addis Ababa, Gematria 44, after losing contact at 8.44. Addis Ababa also has Gematria of 73. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, also Gematria of 73. What's so interesting about that? Well, first of all, 73 is the reflection of 37, making up the other part of this plane number, a 737. But what else is so interesting about that is this airline that crashed today was established 73 years ago. 73 years ago. And what do we know about 73? Sacrifice equals 73. Ritual sacrifice equals 73. 73 is the 21st prime number. The word plane equals 21. 
airline established December 21st, 1945. Here they mention uh, the last major accident involving Ethiopian Airlines passenger plane was in January 2010 when a flight from Beirut went down killing 83 passengers and 7 crew. Ethiopia, 83. Just using the alphabetic order. Haley Selesi, 83. If you don't know that name, that's a man with a big history in Ethiopia. So again, here's MH370, which was front and center all day on CNN's page and elsewhere yesterday. Little precursor for the news they had planned for us today. Again, all of these news stories are perfectly planned and coordinated. Again, like how I showed you, these two stories that are being discussed today, these two plane crashes 133 days apart, last crash on the 302nd day of the year, this time it's flight 302. This is how they do it. So, March 8th, 2014, like 8 slash 3. The other thing that's interesting about March is March has Gematria 43. Plane crash has Gematria 43. Ethiopia has Gematria 43. The plane that crashed was a max 8, which equals 43. Today's date also has numerology of 25. What's interesting about that is this is a story of death. Death has Gematria of 97 and 25. 97 is the 25th prime number. For you NFL fans, they moved the touchback to the 25-yard line in the 97th NFL season. Falcons equals 25. That's the year the Falcons gave up the 25-point lead to the Patriots on 2-5, when in the AFC it's 25th Super Bowl. <laughs> Understand, this code is used in all things that come through the media, from rigged sports to rigged news to rigged elections. You learn the code, you see the repetitive patterns. Anyway, plane crash, also 97. See how they do it? You see how they do it? And I just thought about something. October 29th, the date of the last crash, that's the day leaving 63 days left in the year. That's the day leaving 63 days left in the year, right? Every time they do one of these plane crashes, they bring up the... Um, the Malaysian flight. You know what? I I'm just going to save that note. It's okay. We covered enough details here. We covered enough numbers. We'll leave it right here. No accident. That these two plane crashes, both Boeing, both the same plane, 133 days apart, being talked about today in the same news cycle. None of this is an accident. None of it. You know. It was several years ago now that um, there was actually somebody who called me up in the truth community and he said, Zach, why do you make these videos saying they're contriving plane crashes? That just sounds kooky. And while we were on the phone having this conversation, there was a plane crash that broke in the news. It happened to be the breaking news story. And the whole story was coded 43 up and down. It was a Middle Eastern plane crash. And... Um, I remember that the one of the headlines was that a, a Middle Eastern pop singer died in that plane crash. You can go back and look at that story. I used to have a video on it on my channel that was deleted. But uh, what's funny is the person who was saying I was kooky for saying this, they happen to be a flat earther who's now at the end of a movie that's been made on Netflix. And um, just like I was telling them that then, you know, the earth's not flat. You're wasting your time. You're participating in a psyop. You're going to end up making a fool of yourself. And now there's a movie with him at the end. His name's Jaronism. And uh, in his own experiment, he proves the earth isn't flat. But meanwhile, he's still denying this knowledge, you know, which is evidence-based, which is very repetitive, which can be proven every single day. So I hate when people come here and compare this work to flat earth. Flat earth is based in zero evidence. It's based in a bunch of fallacy and illogical thought, whereas this knowledge is undeniable and again, all evidence-based. Anyone with any understanding of mathematics or statistics, you know, knows better than to deny what is undeniable. So we'll leave it there, truth seeker. Learn the code, see through the lies, the deception, the agenda. The reason they do this to us is because they need to keep our minds occupied. occupied. They need to keep us full of fear. They always need to come up with new talking points, you know, new legislation points, etc., etc. 
It's about keeping our minds busy and distracted so that we forget that we live in a giant slave state, a giant police state, a giant military state. And realize all of these things are in bed with each other. The government, the media, weapons contractor like Boeing. They probably tested out some of their military technology on this plane, to be perfectly honest. It's probably a military experiment right here. If not that, could also be complete fiction. Until next time, true seeker.